I'm not feeling that well today. So I'm doing a little bit of research on some of these photos. I bought them for 9 99 actually. All the photographs that arrived in this Superdrug packaging. And it was interesting because there's these two versions of the same family, obviously taken at the same time, and there's two positions that they're in. So I found that really, really interesting. Uh, there's not a name on the back of this, but I know that it was taken on Good Friday, 1896. And amongst the other photos I have, there's these three old pictures here. This doesn't have anything on the back. This says on the back though, Harry Farr. And this one says, Grandpa Farr as a boy. So I know that Harry Farr must have had children. There's a couple more pictures of Harry Farr here. One of which is here when he's on a beach, which says, Harry, to dear Uncle Jack from, I don't know what the word says, Christmas 1937. And in fact, the interesting thing about these pictures, if you just look at the two of them, you can really see from the eyes that that is the same person. Look at those eyes. You can really, really see it, can't you? The shape of the face, even though someone's got older. This one, it says, he's also Harry Farr. This one, so I don't know if this is just him as an old man. It's funny, really, because I, don't know, I guess it's the same person. Just the age just looks slightly different, doesn't it? But there's an address on the back of this, which says, in drawing room 148 Newport Road. So I've got an address for that one. Now, the other things I've got here are this old picture here, which is a photograph of a portrait, which says... Priscilla Farr, and it says it's Harry Farr's grandmother. So I'm starting to draw some things together. And then there's also these pictures. This picture here, if we look at this one here, um, on the back it says Granny Farr. Now that is written in pencil, and it's clearly been written at the same time as they've written... Grandpa far on the back of this one. So I'm assuming that this here is Harry's wife. That's what it looks like to me. And this one which says Mrs. Harry Farr and on the back we've got taken at 140 Newport Road, Cardiff in 1915 or 1916. Do you know I hadn't noticed this before. I've just I've just taken this one out which has got all these fantastic shots of hats on. And what I didn't notice before is I thought that it was the same woman. But if we just look, I hadn't noticed here, someone's written at the bottom, which I think I must have missed. That says Granny Farr. That's all Granny Farr, taken in 1910. She looks like this woman in this picture. And then I'm just actually looking at the guy here, the man here. I don't know, it's so hard to tell. I don't know. This man here, this doesn't look like Harry Farr though, does it? I think I need to start doing a little bit of exploring. I just want to know why there's so many photos of Granny Farr. Now I know it's Granny Farr. Why are there so many pictures of her here? They've all got dates on the back as well. They all seem to be from 1810. Well, that's from 1908, that one. This says Olive Davies. Well, why would it say Olive Davies if it's supposed to be Grandma Farr? I don't understand what these are. E. Olive Davies. That's what it says on all of them. Right, so did Harry Farr marry E. Olive Davies? I've got this in my four minute family history family tree where I'm putting people in. So it's like going to be a floating tree. So I'm going to put in Harry Farr here. I'm trying to work out how old this picture might be. There's no photographer's name on here. And then we've got this rather old one. Priscilla Farr, Harry Farr's grandmother. So Harry Farr here had a father whose name we don't yet know. And this mother was called Priscilla. Then my theory is going to be that Harry Farr Married someone called E. I don't know what her first name was, but she was obviously called Olive, presumably. 
So E Olive Davies slash file. And because there's something on one of these photographs that says 1910, I think they must have married after 1910. So I'm just gonna put that in there for now. I'm assuming they were Welsh as well. Now I'm just gonna do a search initially because I have honestly have no idea if this is gonna bring anything up. Let's look at English marriages because probably he probably wasn't even called Harry to be fair. He was probably called Henry. Let's see if we can find a marriage for Harry Farr and Davies. Let's start with Farr. Oh, I can't see the name of the person they married, can I? I'll tell you what, let's go into search your records and we'll do something different because they know we know they lived in Cardiff. So if I put in Harry Farr and then I put in Cardiff, let's see what that brings up. There's a Harry Farr in the 1939 register. That's for Butte Street. When he could have been Henry Farr. All right, let's see if we can put in a spouse then. Let's just see if we can add a spouse. And if we put in Davies. Oh, look. Look what's come up there. Elsie Olive Davies. Someone's got him in their tree. Elsie Olive Davies, marriage here. Residence, 1932, in the British phone book. Let's have a look where this is. Far, let me look. Harry Far, look, this is him. Harry Far, 148 Newport Road. And I know that's correct because he says it on the back of this picture of him. This is him in the drawing room in that house. So this is definitely the right Harry. God, this is exciting, isn't it? This is him. He's a descendant of these people. She was Elsie Olive. Harry and Elsie Olive had a son called John, had another son. You just wonder how photographs end up, don't you, on like eBay or for sale or not wanted. But of course, it could have gone down any strand. The photographs could have gone down Photographs could have gone down. Other children here. I mean, there are two siblings. Who knows where these pictures went? But clearly this person down here who's got two siblings is interested. Wow. Elsie Olive Davis said that she mar they married in 1913. So now we just need to see on this tree, does it say, oh, his father was William. It's interesting then, isn't it? Because if he was born in 18... 74, this must be taken in what? He's not very old here, is he? Maybe 10, so in the 1880s, maybe something like that. And this then makes sense, doesn't it? In that we've got these two pictures of Granny Far. So this is Elsie Olive, and so is this in their home. Maybe it's not, it's 140, it's 148. Maybe that's what it is. Wow, okay, so that's really good. So let me just view in the family tree here. Oh, look, there she is. Look, we've got Harry Farr here. And then here we've got his grandmother, Priscilla Thick. That is Priscilla Thick, and it all ties in. I mean, to, to have a portrait means you would have a bit of money, doesn't it? Let's have a quick look at Priscilla Thick. She had quite a few children. Let's do a search here. There's no pictures of her. I mean, I'm assuming that someone had the painting of this and then someone had a picture taken of the painting. Gosh, isn't that incredible, really? Elsie Olive Davies, born in 1889. This woman, it really looks like the older woman. It really looks like her. So I'm one now wondering if, if she was born in 1889, if she's not one of the children in this 1896 picture, and looking at it, she'd have to be the eldest daughter, I would say. That's what I would have thought. So if I can see, did Elsie Olive Davies have two sisters? David Oliver Davies and Ada Annie Morgan. Right, look at this. They had three children, didn't they? Look, three children. According to this, they had two daughters, Elsie Olive, who I'm thinking is this one here. Then Dorothy in 1891. Five, and then a boy, and that is a boy, John Richard Davies. 
So I'm pretty sure that that's who these people are. And looking at the Morgan here, one of the names on here, Great Uncle Jack. Morgan in a question mark someone's written. So that must be Great Uncle Jack. So I'm assuming then that Ada Annie Morgan must have had a brother who was called John. There we go here, John Morgan. He's not on anyone's tree, but I think that's who it must be. Goodness me, I mean, that is quite extraordinary, isn't it? Thanks to this person doing the work and putting the tree on, I've been able to work it all out. That must be her in the 1939 register. Look, they're at 148 still in 1939. They must have lived there for years. Harry Farr, Elsie Olive, oh, born in 1890 here, 1874. He was a librarian. And look, they even had a daughter. That must be their daughter, Priscilla, born in 1920. Two other children whose records are closed. Oh, I feel, I'm feeling a bit better, a bit more with it now. The last bits I've got is this really recent, well, recent to everything else, 1960s postcard. This is to someone called Rosemary. And there's this school photograph here which I can't even read the school. Something Road Primary School, Cardiff. And then Rosemary, End of Top Girls. I don't know how old that is. How old is that picture? It sort of maybe looks 40s to me. 30s probably, no, 30s probably. So I think that these possessions were belonging to someone called Rosemary, is what I suspect. Harry must have had a granddaughter called Rosemary. And now I'm pretty sure I've identified who these people are. I've realized that this is the same guy in this picture. Clearly, that's the same guy. So that means that this is a later picture of um, David Oliver Davis. I'm sure that is the same guy. The eyes just look so similar. And the hairline as well. I'm just trying to look at the ears. The ears look similar too. So I'm pretty sure now that that is David Oliver Davis. I never thought that I was going to be able to piece all these people together. It's quite surprising really. I bet even the person who wrote all the names on, didn't know who they were, just didn't realise. These would look fantastic if I scan them in and have them knit large. They'd look fantastic, wouldn't they, to see all those images? So that's something I need to do, really. This one, this one, and this one are all the same image. Are there any other duplicates? Oh, this one and this one are the same. This looks like it was taken on the same day as this, actually. But I've definitely worked out who they are. Even Priscilla. Even, it appears this picture, which is just completely anonymous. Now it seems quite obvious who these people are. That's a success story.